guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Janelle, and this is my boyfriend, JV. Hey, <laughs> this is so funny. I'm just gonna keep all this in here. But anyway, we're going to be asking each other some skin deep questions. I don't know if some of you guys have seen that on YouTube, but it's like a whole channel where they grab like couples or I don't know, different relationships and just ask like deep questions. Um, I didn't ask anything too deep. I chose some questions from the internet. So we're just going to dive right into it. So you want to go first? No, nah, you go first. Why? Huh? Why? Go first. You got to answer the question first. No, no, I'll go first. <laughs> no. I'll do it. I go first. <laughs> wait. I don't want them. You don't even know the questions. Oh, wait. Before you. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so we also put it in a bowl. It's 12 questions, so it's not too much, but yeah. Go ahead. What do you think I'm concerned about when it comes to our relationship? Oh, we're also answering, we're both answering the question, but. Oh, but you going first? Yeah. All right, I'll ask all the questions. <laughs> no, Wait. I'm asking one too, so we can alternate. Wait, I gotta think about this. What do you think I'm con so it's what do I think you're concerned about when it comes to our relationship? Uh, I got to say it's equality with finances is what I think you are concerned about. With the relationship? Like control basically. That's what most of our issues are now. <laughs> no? Is it something else? Yeah. Um, Don't tell me. Concerned about what? What would you be concerned about in our relationship? About me? Um, loyalty? Not like toward like to another person. I'm just talking about you know how I'm an open book, so I just be talking a lot. Okay. I don't freaking know what is it. That you give me the same love and care I give you. <laughs> that I'll give you the same love that you give me? Same love and care. Oh, you're concerned that I won't? Yeah, you won't learn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's, um, you know. <laughs> okay, what about... What I think you're concerned about? Mm -hmm. Money? No. <laughs> I definitely talk about money a lot because it's always on both of our minds, but I talk about it a lot, like 24-7. But my concern is more so when the relationship gets hard, which you tend to do. Walk away. Mm -hmm. That's always my concern. But he's slightly working on it. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, my turn. Ugh, it's all the hard questions first. How do you want to handle finances in marriage? Handle finances in marriage? Mm -hmm. I mean, like split or... Yeah, whatever. like, how do you want to handle it? Like, do um, someone pay this? Do someone pay that? Like, I feel like you should... If you are earning, like, a certain income, I feel like you should take care of... More so, groceries and like little bills, mm -hmm. small bills. Okay. Um. Yeah, I agree. I feel like while we're both like in the position we are now, I think everything should be split equally for sure. But in, in marriage, marriage, in marriage, um. I would still, I wouldn't mind doing equally because I think we're, it's just a new generation. We're all working hard and stuff. Like, I think it's different when you kind of have kids, I guess. Like, who, not, not who spends more time, but it's more so like, I don't know. I don't know. That's the different question. But yeah, in marriage, uh, I could either split it equally still or like you said, take care of the little bills and groceries and, you know, the smaller things in life. Your turn. Why can't we? 
this is what? Do you have a good relationship with your parents? <laughs> with my parents. Do I have a good relationship with your parents? Yeah. Definitely your mom. It's daddy, I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I'm not kidding. That's the thing, he don't care. He needs to care a little bit more so we can, you know, actually have a great conversation one day. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I have an okay relationship with her mom. <laughs> okay. I have no relationship with her dad. Um, just past issues. Not between me yeah, and him. It's not nothing. It's really, it's just my dad. He just likes to be by himself. It's all him. But yeah, um, that's our, you know, circumstance. The question is getting better, I promise. Anyway, all right, the next one is How would you describe me to others? Uh, nice to other people. Talkative. If somebody be like, what is she lying? She likes to dance. Um, she's funny, like I said. And she worried. Well, she, she's well organized mm -hmm. when it comes <laughs> to her business and mm -hmm. future years. She has this stuff planned out. Cool. That works. How would I describe you? People ask me, I'd be like, he's cool. <laughs> um, he's just chill. He's very nonchalant. He's a Sagittarius. Don't really give up about stuff. I mean, he do, but like, you know, just, he's just a chill person. Um, he's also nice. He's very caring. Sometimes too caring. Um, <laughs> what else? Uh, oh, very blunt. He can hurt your feelings and not even try, you know, so... She do the same thing and guilt trip you, guilt trip you about it. I she don't do that it, anymore. She gonna make a mistake, but make it seem like it's your fault. Huh? I do yeah. not. Are you crazy? Yeah. You do that all the time. You do that all the time. No, I don't. Anyway, we both do it. I don't even want to hear it. So, um, yeah, that one. <laughs> Pick another question. How am I most similar? And different to people you dated. <laughs> um, he's my first boyfriend. Hopefully to be the last. You know, just hoping. <laughs> but um, the pe I've talked to more people in high school and stuff. Um, maybe that's dating. But yeah, he's similar because he kind of be looking like them, like he last game. <laughs> but um, that's the way he's similar. And different, just, he was a lot more mature, definitely, definitely. Um, but then again, I was in high school at the time, so. But anyway, like, overall, he was more mature, and um, he had a lot of plans in his life, like, still does, so that's how he's different. Um, I can say she, like, the first pretty girl I date, so she's real, she's a clean freak, she really <laughs> take care of like, her beauty, everything like that, um, super different, like, personality-wise, like, she's more outgoing, um, more argumentative well like not not in a bad way like she really stand on what she believe in um business minded definitely like we both on the same page of like we don't want a job and she really stands on that hard um similarities i mean just regular female stuff talk a lot uh <laughs> I'm the one that talked the most, though, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Talk a lot. Um, okay. <laughs> they heard you. <laughs> uh, sometimes. A dare. Another dare. Oh, no, no. no similarity. 
similarity, similarity. I was gonna um, say, why you ain't say black girl? <laughs> I bet it was black girls. Our similarities. Oh yeah, I always date black girls, basically. That's um, a similarity. <laughs> yeah. Um smart. Um Yeah, I don't I don't ever date no dog girl. <laughs> Question. Yeah, you don't really got a lot of similarities to who I usually date. Is that good or bad? It's good. Okay. Can I add on to the sim the difference? <laughs> yeah. Another big difference is her loyalty. Like, no matter how much we fight, argue, nothing, she here. Like, to stay. <laughs> blowing my phone up, driving my house. Wait, like, don't make me so crazy. <laughs> not, not in a crazy, not in a crazy way. Not in a crazy way, but yeah, she definitely want to stick by my side. I just feel like sometimes he, he, he get tired real fast, and when things happen or when things are blown up, it's just like I'm not trying to deal with this right now. Like that's just the type of person that he is, and then he also gets into this. I'm not fucking with you. Like, I don't want to be with you. <laughs> that's what it turns into. But I sometimes, that's why I say I'm afraid that, you know, during those moments, he's going to want to leave because I don't ever really know. Like, he says, that's the thing. He says things that sometimes, at, maybe at the moment, he's really like, yeah, I don't want to be with you. But then he'll think about it later on and he's like... I do want to be with her, but it's just a lot going on. <laughs> so no, I'll be there. I'll be ready to leave you, and then you show me like how low you are. I'm like, I can't lose her. Is that all? Shoot, I come with a lot more than that. Yeah, I'm saying like, you know. Okay. Well, yeah. That's a big thing. Yeah. Next. <laughs> did you pick that one? Yeah. Okay. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. I mean, yes, you did. <laughs> you nosy. What do you love about our relationship? That. What I love? That we both, like, we're a power couple. Mm -hmm. When we can get there. Right. Agree. Like, we got a lot of visions and dreams and everything, but when we put it together, that's what I love about it. What about you? Um, what do I love about our relationship? I love on days when, like, we just really don't have anything to do. Sometimes I notice, like, the way that we love on each other. Just the hugging... The cuddling like I love you like just that's just so it's just such an intimate amazing moment in our relationship all the time every time we do that like I just love that we really do love each other um that's what I really do love about our relationship and same thing that you said like once we get our situations on the same page like I feel like there's just success from there mm -hmm. so yeah my strengths and weaknesses. Hmm. I would say this could be a strength and a weakness for him. Competition. He's so competitive. Like, oh my God, it's ridiculous. Like, yeah. Um, like when it comes to games, he's always winning. Like, there's no, there's no if ands or buts. Like, broken me, it don't matter. He's trying to win. Like, he's going to win. That's just that. Weaknesses, um, you know, sometimes being too competitive can get you really cocky and people start to hate on you and That's you. all that. <laughs> you be hating on me when we play games. Anyway, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's a strength and a weakness with that. Like, his whole family is like that. Can't play no games with them. <laughs> um, for me, like, I just want everybody to win. That's me. But anyway... Anything else? Weakness. I'm trying to think of a weakness of yours. I think, honestly, my biggest thing is just, like, 
a weakness I feel like is some sometimes you can't talk it out. Sometimes. Like you're getting better, but you know, we definitely that was a weakness. Like it we it wasn't easy to communicate when we were arguing or like when we were weren't getting along. Right. So yeah. Um, start with the bad and then go to the good. The weakness. She doesn't know how to separate private and public. Yeah. Like she'll tell you tell you it all. Everything. <laughs> From when her period start to what I ate this morning. That's how we're having a conversation with her. <laughs> <laughs> um strengths she a go getter like anything she want shit like I said shit. <laughs> when we break up she go get me no <laughs> no play uh no nah, like it's not even funny financial wise <laughs> um when she really do want to win, she'll try her best. It's my turn. Stop. You already did. No, know. you just did it. That was your question. No. Wait, what? What yeah. was the question? Strength and weaknesses. I did it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> God dang. Do you have a favorite adventure we took together and why? We only took one, really. Shut the fuck up. No, we did not. Santa Barbara. That was, <laughs> that, was, that was the biggest one. Okay, but um, we still went other places. Where else we go? Just New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, and that wasn't even really an adventure. It was with my family. It was an adventure to me. Yeah, that's true. Where else did we go? Big Bear? For three hours. Right. <laughs> but yeah, Santa Barbara, we did everything. I paid for everything. <laughs> <laughs> And I was for a birthday. Um, yeah, that was fun. We went to the zoo and went um, Paris Ellen. That was my first song. Her first song. Um, went to, shoot. yeah, we did a photo shoot. We we ate like at this French restaurant. That was really good. Our first date. Yeah. We shared our first glass of wine with each other. We did. Mm -hmm. yeah, we saw bats. Yeah, we saw bats. I seen bats before. Whatever. Yeah. Agree. The next, next is camping. No, I'm not doing that. Anyway. Um, yeah, I agree. Santa Barbara. Um, why? I feel like that's when I just really realized I was really in love with you. Like, yeah. Damn, that's one of the questions. Fuck. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> That's gonna be the question. <laughs> when did you know you were in love? Yeah, that's for you. Go. That's for you. That's when you really. Um. Yeah. You told me that before, though. I didn't know what it felt like until I got to Santa Barbara. I thought I knew. Don't you be feeling like I think I'm in love, but you don't really know. Like that's that's how you be feeling sometimes, and. Like, people use the word in love so loosely, like, I mean, you don't, but I'm just saying, like, even when I used it, I used it as a as a loose thing because I thought loving somebody is still being in love. It's different. Yeah. The, our first date was literally at Santa Barbara within the two and a half years of our relationship. And it's like, just only thinking about you, not thinking about who else is around you, just only, like, being like engaged into that person's eyes like just smiling like it it was just uh, <laughs> in love <laughs> yeah uh i'll say i'll say when we we did like long distance for like a year i'll say throughout that year i've grown to be in love with her just because i mean it was a lot of temptation out there but like and I would do it with any other relationship, but with her, it was it was different. Like I didn't mean, think about it. Like we would go out, or whatever. But it was just having fun, or whatever, hanging out with people. So 
I can say when we was away from each other. Mm. And then coming back to each other, it was like, yeah, this is definitely home. <laughs> Test your faith, or what is that what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, yeah. Um, cool. Next. I feel like I did that one. No, you did that one. One thing you wish I did for you, but I don't. <laughs> no, we not doing all that. I already know. <laughs> we not doing all that. <laughs> Think of something else. Uh, <laughs> I can't like stop I said, thinking about it. <laughs> just care more. Like. Like how our apartment building is set up, you gotta come up a hill. And First of all, I she'll... really do be picking you up more now. Yeah, but like with me, if you down there, then I'm gonna get up immediately and come get you. Cause I'm like, I don't want you to just be sitting out there. But you, you laying in bed, take your time getting dressed, everything. Even though you know I'm on the way, and all you gotta do is just throw some sweats on. Be considerate. Even though it may seem like I do have a little more time on my hand, um, I wish you would be considerate of my time too. Though. That's it. Respectable. It's not like you do everything because I'm trying to be your Like, there's certain things you do in the bathroom, like, you know, just certain things, whatever. He can't do it. Sometimes he, like, when I be, like, really mad at him, like, bro, just started telling you, da, 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 da. he'll do it good for three days. Then after the three days, he's like, I'll do it when I get back. I'll do it when I get back. And he don't ever do it. That's it. We argue about this multiple times. So. This is our main argument. Yeah, so I ain't going to you know, counter it. Because you can't. You cannot. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> How can we add more value to our relationship? Quality time. And quality time. And quality time. Answer? Obviously. Um, I think we can add more value kind of by like just, mm, I think that right now we're doing pretty okay. Like, I think that every so often, like I want to say every other weekend, we kind of started just going out to eat, you know, just kind of talking about the future like, you know, things we both need to do to push each other to do better for ourselves, let alone things we can do in the relationship. But I think more so, like, since where we are now, we're both, like, still trying to find who we are, what we want to do. And we're both trying to help each other out. So that's something that we kind of already do to add to our relationship. And then... Quality time, I would just say for me, I need to really get out the bed. I hate doing stuff. Like, on a regular day, I will stay in bed all day. Plain and simple. I don't even cook for myself. This is my cook right here. This is my professional cook. So, <laughs> my professional shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I need to get out the bed. That's step one. <laughs> um, I'll say doing what we both like. 
Yeah, I want to do. I want to do more outdoor stuff with her. But yeah, she <laughs> the, she love inside. Um, <laughs> she want to talk more, so I guess we I can add value that way, but. He ain't talking. I hate talking. He hate talking. <laughs> I hate talking about. I don't know. He think what I talk about is pointless. It's the same conversation. I'm an action person. Like I'm gonna talk about it a few times, and I'm like, all right, cool. Let's. What are we gonna do to fix it? Or right, let's go do it now. Okay. The last one. That is mine. You already. Stop. You. Little things you hate about me that I do, but secretly like. <laughs> if I tell you I don't like it, I don't like it. <laughs> I'll be lying. I think you like something. Or like secretly. I don't know. <laughs> nah. Telling you to get up when you cuddling on me. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm telling her to move. But I don't really want her to move. That was whack. Anyway. <laughs> no, it's respectable. You warm. Oh, do you see really like when I do this? No. <laughs> you don't. She always be putting her feet on me. I hate it. Sleep, she put her feet into my legs, my thighs, like, mm -hmm. and feet is not cushion, it's bone, like, that's <laughs> not Okay, for me, what was the question? Bro. What was the question? Oh, oh. He does this thing, he don't do it that often anymore, but he does this thing where, like, he'll give me a whole bunch of kisses, like, a lot, like a thousand. Like this is the thing he'd be like, "You want me to give you a thousand kisses?" I'd be like, "Uh, uh, no." <laughs> I don't even secretly like it. Sometimes I do, but I would say that's ten percent of the time. I really do not like that. He's a lot more affectionate than me. Um, I'm affectionate in public, but in private, I don't want him on me. I really don't. That's weird. It's you just, know what you be doing in public. I be doing everything in public, okay? We do everything. I be rubbing his nipples in public. Like, you know? But yeah. Um, that's what I somewhat secretly don't like, like, about him. But yeah. All, all done. done. All done. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for doing this video with me. He over here tired. <laughs> he really hate talking, but um, yeah. Hopefully you'll see him more. If not, then we broke up. But no, just <laughs> um. <laughs> oh yeah, we're three years in. Three years in, and hopefully forever. Anniversary was a week ago. Um, oh yeah, it was October fifteenth. Damn. Alright guys, well we will see y'all soon. Love you.